Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to teach you how to set up the Celestron Travel Scope 70. So it comes in this bag and we have all the different components in here. So the first thing you want to get is your tripod followed by the telescope. Now you want to remove all the covers from your telescope such as this lens cover and the cover for the smaller finder scope. Now make sure you don't lose these. So you can still put them back later. Now, your telescope will come with a few eyepieces. The one I have comes with a 20 millimeter and 10 millimeter eyepiece. And the one with a lower number is more zoomed in. So that's the 10 millimeter one over here. Now we have this piece over here, which is a sort of mirror. And you can get them in different angles. Mine isn't exactly 90 degrees, but it is kind of bent. And that way, when you attach your eyepiece, it's easier to view the telescope when it's at an angle. And now you want to remove the cover of this and then attach it over here. Now every time you attach a part, you want to screw it in. So you're going to grab these sort of silver things and then tighten them. So once that's done, you want to double check, make sure nothing falls off. And then we can add our eyepiece. So for now, I'm gonna start with the less magnification at 20 millimeters. That way it's easier to find an object such as the moon. And then later on, we can switch to our more zoomed in one at 10 millimeters. So I kind of lost the attachment here, but as you can see, it's still pretty sturdy. It doesn't seem like it's gonna fall off. Next, you want to set up the tripod. So just unclip these and then extend the legs. Then clip them back into place and do that until all three legs are extended. Now you can place it down. And if the surface is uneven, you can actually unclip these and adjust the legs to make it kind of level with the ground. Obviously, we're in sand, so it won't be perfect. You can adjust the tripod by using this lever and you can also loosen it by rotating it counterclockwise and tightening it by rotating it clockwise and that way it won't move anymore. Same goes for this one. So this adjusts the orientation from vertical to landscape. And if you're wondering why it does go vertical, that's because the opposite side actually has a screw so you can screw it in to your telescope. Now this one over here controls the rotation so we can rotate it left and right. If we rotate it clockwise, it will lock it, just like the other one, and now we can't rotate it. And this one over here is an additional adjustment for the height, so we can make it even taller. Now you wanna line this up and then tighten it clockwise. As you can see, we also do have a level, so you can actually adjust the tripod accordingly. At the moment, it's not level, but we're just gonna ignore that since we're on sand and it will move around anyway. Now see we have the moon over there. I'm gonna zoom in on it. That's the moon. And the telescope is now pointing towards this direction. Now there's a free app you can use. It's called Celestial Sky Portal. And that will allow you to track the moon's position. So we can also adjust our date and time. So for example, right now it's 5.32 in the afternoon. But if you want to see where the moon is at around like, let's say 7 or 8 p.m., the sky will adjust accordingly. So I'm going to tap on now, and then I'm going to tap on center. So I did tap on the moon to select it. And now we can see where the moon is. And using this free app, you can also see the current orientation of the moon. So we're at southeast, 143.7 degrees. Now based on the orientation of the moon in Sky Portal, I'm now, uh, I matched the orientation with 143 degrees southeast. And it's covering my current location. As you can see, the moon has now moved to 144.5 degrees. So it keeps moving in the sky, but that's all right since we're not too far and it will be easier to find the moon. Now you wanna adjust the telescope to kind of face the moon and if you look closely, you'll see the moon over there. So now we're gonna point it upward. 
And then you want to look through your finder scope, which is the smaller telescope on the side, and try to see if you can find the moon. And if not, you want to move it around until the moon is in the sort of center of the two lines. So it's like a cross. That's where you're going to aim. The moon has actually disappeared and is nowhere to be seen. It's also better if you do this at night since it's quite bright at the moment. Although it is possible to view the moon with these conditions, except that it's now done. So I'm going to put some photos on the screen right now of what the moon looks like through the telescope. So if you do want to view the moon or other planets, which is what it's built for, then I highly recommend you going on a day that is as cloudy as this. I mean, look at this. And also going at night. However, I was able to take lots of photos of the moon during the day, except that it's a super cloudy right now. Instead of the moon, I want to see what happens if we try to zoom in to that island over there. Now, this is an iPhone 16 Pro, and this is the maximum zoom that it has. So that's 15 times. Let's see what we can get out of the telescope. So I can continue the tutorial. We're going to be using this island. Now, to focus your telescope, you want to rotate this knob clockwise or counterclockwise until the image becomes clear. See how we have the waves and now the island so I can rotate it counterclockwise or clockwise and you'll see that it's now clearer now it's blurred so you're gonna find the sort of point where it will focus and now we can zoom in on the island so we can even see that there's a sort of cell tower in the distance check that out it's kind of hard to record through the telescope and it's also very windy but you get the idea at least. So hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful. That's how to set up and use your Celestron Travel Scope 70. Unfortunately, we were not able to view the moon due to the conditions. It's very cloudy until now. But hopefully that gave you a good idea on how to use it. So feel free to leave a question, comment, or suggestion down below. Please like and subscribe for more. And also for the channel. So, thanks for watching.